Good morning, my sweet, sweet friends. I am currently, hi Brody, making breakfast. The dogs had their breakfast, so now it's my turn. Um, I am going to do a little breakfast burrito situation, and I'm very excited. My favorite, my favorite veggie bacon is the Sweet Earth veggie bacon. It's the absolute best. And I'm gonna say something very controversial. Hot topic, you guys. We bought this only pan, right? The only pan is not worth it. I said it. I said it. The only pan is not worth it. I said it. I meant what I said. I don't take it back. Um, and I genuinely feel that way. It's so expensive. Isn't it like $150? I bought two of them actually. Um, and I'm currently selling one on Facebook Marketplace because I've never even used it. It still has like all the paperwork and everything inside of it. Paperwork. <laughs> um, but I am making some breakfast buttery toes today. I am very excited. Oh no, this expired. Oh no, maybe I'm not. Wait. <gasps> Call the police. Oh no. Do we think I can still eat this? It doesn't look bad. It still smells the same and it was sealed. So honestly, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> um, okay. Also, it's just veggie. What could really be that bad? But let's see, let's see. Moshetti. Um, if you guys know my breakfast burrito, breakfast tacos, I really get down with it. So I love this just egg stuff. I really love it. Most of the time it's not expired. I've got my veggie bacon going and then I'll put some whipped cream cheese on it. I wish I had potatoes to put on it. I do not. That is honestly such a bummer for so many reasons. But we're going to keep it moving, keep it grooving, get the bacon going, bacon going. Okay. I am so excited. Yay. Okay. Well, I'm going to use that today just to use some of it. I hate throwing food away. I also feel like I just bought that. So that's odd. But anywho, um, I really love to like cut up potatoes and I have a bunch of potatoes that are already like kind of sprouting a little bit. Are you allowed to eat them once they do that? Someone let me know. I'm sure someone's going to say no, but I'm definitely going to break all the little sprouts off of them, chop them up really small, boil them, and then I just put them in the fridge and I like put them in the pan and crisp them up for like part of my breakfast burrito. And that always tastes really good. Um, it is so funny, you guys, because if you have been following me for a long time, you know that breakfast like was not always my jam. And what I mean by that is I was not like an early, like I did not have to eat early in the morning. Like, I will never forget um Nikki Blacketer is one of those people who like she would visit and like she needs to eat first thing in the morning my partner James is someone who needs to eat first thing in the morning I have never been that way um and now that I'm pregnant I'm just like first thing in the morning like it's nine o'clock right now and this is waiting way too late to eat because I'm feeling nauseous now um but I'm just it's a whole new ball game you guys it's so funny Literally, that's the only word I have for it. It's just like so funny how different your body is, like experiencing heartburn for the first time. That's pretty wild. What a wild, wild time. Sometimes I do this veggie bacon and like egg combo on sourdough toast and that is so good, uh, but we don't have any sourdough toast right now that I really like. So I'm just going to make a breakfast burrito situation. And really quick, I am going to warm up my tortillas yes 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 um i'm trying to think oh i'm also gonna film for you guys today this like pasta bake that i've been making and i used to make it not last fall but the fall before that like it was one of my favorite things that i would make james loved it um one of my girlfriends really loved it and she was like practically like living with me at that point and so it was always just like nice to have on hand and especially after you know your nighttime herbal therapy it was very delicious um and it's so funny to think about when james was like just my friend and he would come over every day and we would hang out but anywho um but i've like perfected the recipe since that like i don't know i would always be like i just feel like i would use there was sauce and cheese and it's so so good but i'm like why does this still feel dry so now i add a whole lot of a whole lot of a something in it 
and it is like so good like it's definitely not healthy by any means but you could make it healthy most definitely um but my doctor wants me to gain a couple more pounds being pregnant so i'm like you got it extra cream cheese in my baked pasta doctor whatever don't want to say my doctor <laughs> my doctor you got it you got it ma'am why do we need to clean under this thing uh hi brody your grandma oh but i'm making the pasta because uh it's a pasta bake and then it's just really easy for leftovers and my grandparents come into town hi brody you want to say hi to everyone show off your jackie <gasps> oh wow have you ever seen a nicer looking squirrel wow <clears throat> But my grandparents come into town and like I always think it's just nice for them to have like quick easy food on hand. I got them stuff for like sandwiches and stuff in their fridge over there. So, <sighs> okay, it's going to be too hot, but here we are. Phenomenal. Honestly, if it makes me sick, whatever. Live and learn. Live and learn. Also, I just don't think, um... God, my nose is so itchy. I have like the worst allergies. It's not even like running, it's just itchy, you know? Uh, from like, what are those called, allergies? <sighs> and also, who knew that your allergies like get worse when you're pregnant? That is so weird. No one told me that. And then on the eggs, I just do some everything but the bagel seasoning. This is the Walmart version. Um, boop, boop. Then we will just move and groove this around honestly it was sealed i think it's gonna be fine right me trying to rationalize it me trying to make it sound fine in my head oh this is just literally one of my favorite breakfasts i just i don't know why it's so good to me it's just like so quick so yummy and so like filling when i was like uh really on my project blissful body game i would eat this a lot just with different tortillas um, and I would like weigh things out, measure it, but now that I'm not, it's a different ball game. I don't think I want to put cheese on my eggs. I think the cream cheese on my thing is enough. Jingle potty. Jingle potty outside. Hi, Bobo. Your favorite person in the world comes today. <gasps> Your second bit. I know I'm your favorite. Don't worry. I know. I know, Bubba. I know. You're my baby. My baby boy. He's gonna be the only boy in the house. But um, yes, I am so excited. I uploaded a new vlog today. Love to see it. Love to hear it. Maybe I will put just a little bit of cheese on those. Um, and it's just so fun. Okay, this is the Trader Joe's Shredded Unexpected Cheddar. You know what? I remember literally like years ago, I was living at like with my grandparents still in beauty school. And oh, I guess I it wouldn't, wouldn't have been then. Was it then? One of my friends had this at their house and I like wasn't really eating dairy at the time, but she like was nonstop talking about how good it was. And then I saw Nikki Philippi talking about it. And so basically I just like, we'll finish that up. Um, you know, at the end of the bag when it's all just like crumbs and you're like, I guess I'll just use this. Um, but I remember trying it and like not being that obsessed with it. Um, but I think it's good now. Oh, I'll give you some eggies. You want some eggies? I'll give you a little. Hi, Molly. Hi, you got your nice turtle jacket on. You look like you're a hunter. You look like you're a hunting girl. Can I show you with your jacket? Oh, that's a nice jacket. Look at it. Oh, wow. Good morning. She said no treats. You had the cheese bag, didn't you? Okay, I'm here for the cheese shower. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. Yes. Okay, but I'm gonna let this cook. I'm gonna let them outside. And then we will assemble. Yeah. Okay, I'm now here and eating my meal. Cholula, of course. I totally already ate one of these. Mm. because pregnant and hungry you know so
Tallulah. You guys, let me know down below. What is your favorite hot sauce? Mine used to be... Used to be Tapatio. But... Really is Cholula these days. Mm. I know it seems like so weird, like cream cheese with the egg and bacon, but something about it, like try it and let me know. Because everyone who I've gotten to try it is obsessed with it. Mmm. so good i cannot believe that i am almost halfway through my pregnancy <gasps> sorry did i scare you with my gasp um it has been so fun i've been like on tiktok talking about my pregnancy a lot and that's been really fun and just super interesting to like connect with other pregnant people right now and I actually have to call my hospital today because I'm sp I was supposed to get a call from radiology last week, I think, and I still haven't. So I just want to call and set up that anatomy scan because then I also have to coordinate it with a blood work appointment, which I then also have to coordinate both of those appointments with an appointment with my doctor to have the appointment on the same day as my anatomy scan, does that make sense? So my doctor was telling me that whatever day I do the anatomy scan, I have to set up an appointment for after the anatomy scan to go over it, go over it with my doctor. Um, so hopefully that works out perfectly, easily, and you know, blissfully. Mm. Luckily, when I did get like rushed to the hospital she was the one on call and so actually she was able to do my ultrasound when they were like they did a transvaginal ultrasound as well as like um traditional ultrasound on my belly to see the baby so they were checking my cervix to make sure everything was fine there um and i got rushed to the hospital because i had been having really intense cramping which like feeling some cramping while you're pregnant is very normal but i had been feeling it for a while now and so the appointment that i had just seen her two days before for my i think it was 17 week appointment um she was like if it happens again like please just call me and the only reason i called her is because i was feeling a lot of pressure like when you are going to start your period like that is exactly what it felt like as if i was going to start my period so i just got really nervous because that is the same feeling that i had when i um lost the pregnancy before this one and so i did call her and i wasn't bleeding yet but i told her that i did not want to wait until i was bleeding to call because most of the time when you start bleeding there's not a lot they can do and so she had me come in immediately they admitted me i went to labor and delivery just because of what had happened before and so they like you know took me in put me in a gown checked me in we did a check of my cervix to like make sure my cervix wasn't shortening because she was really worried about that um and everything turned out luckily to be okay so we're monitoring my cervix to make sure it's not shortening um and then also just trying to manage my stress and she told me basically to chill out because my cortisol was too high making me have false contractions which this early is not great so i'm doing my best to manage <coughs> my work more take a breath more kick my feet up more um i think it's super interesting just to like talk about it even because then i had people messaging me like what do you have to be stressed about and I'm just like anything I mean I don't know I don't even view myself as stressed as much as it's just like I like being go 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 I am an Aries through and through I like just like the go go I like having a lot on my plate I like taking on a lot and so now that I'm pregnant it's really learning this balance of like the body is not just mine anymore um and so being open to help, 
being open to asking for help and doing less and you know really just having my doctor give me the reality check that I do need to take it a little bit easier so that was good I just swallowed that piece on accident um one of my friends is now helping me with more work stuff so twice a week she comes and helps me and it's amazing not only get to get to hang out with her but I love when I am able to pay my friends um I always think that is so fun so I love that and yeah just still keeping up with everything and taking a breath and reminding myself that I'm pregnant because I'll find myself like just being like oh I'm so tired or like oh I don't know why it's like 3 p.m and I'm ready to go to bed and James will look at me or my grandma will look at me or Ashley will look at me and just be like, you're pregnant. And I'm like, you're right. Mm. It's this whole new level. Of grace and compassion for yourself. Huh, Brody? Yeah, you remind me to be pleasant. So we do our meditations together twice a day out on the deck in the sunshine. Hmm. Huh. We do our meditations together. Who was that? I don't see you, but I heard you. Oh yes, Molly too. We sit out on the deck out there. And then we just do our little meditations. Come to center moments. Mm. But honestly, I feel like I'm having a great pregnancy. I really do. I'm so grateful. I know that <clears throat> the first trimester was rough, but I only threw up once and it was kind of making myself throw up in that way of just like chugging water because I didn't have anything to throw up. And I felt like I was gaggy a little bit, but in all actuality, I think things are going pretty okay. And I'm very grateful for that because I know some people have very rough pregnancies, but I, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm so grateful for my doctor and the nurses that I got to meet, the labor and delivery nurses. So sweet. Even the front desk people at like where I go to my appointments now, so not in labor and delivery. Um, those women are so kind. The doctor's assistant, my doctor's assistant, um, they're so kind. I like brought them all Starbucks gift cards the other day at my last appointment just because like that's who you know the front desk women like that's who I talk to literally almost for every appointment and then my doctor's assistant is the person who will like call me with my results or call me about the gender and like things like that so I just like always want to say thank you I know I see a lot of people like giving gifts and like those baskets to labor and delivery which I'm very excited to do that also but I just also want to say thank you to the people who I interact with a lot also right now because they're doing I hate when people are like that's their job they're doing their job and I'm like well they're doing their job really well and they get to be honored and like thanked for that people can be so funny I'm trying to drink more water it's so funny I feel like I definitely drink like a gallon or almost a gallon of water a day and my doctor said that I was still dehydrated so she said that <clears throat> my blood work was good there's nothing like I'm lacking in my body and she said just try and drink more water so mm. <sighs> yeah drink more wawa you love fresh wawa you wanna come up here you can sit with me <gasps> oh <laughs> did your little butt fall oh your little butt fall off oh we bought a new rug today this morning for Lila's nursery which is very exciting. Brody's so sweet. He loves to like sit on my lap now a lot and his little paws just rest on my stomach. And then at nighttime, he's cuddling my little bump. He's so sweet. You're gonna be the best big brother. You're gonna be the best big brother. Wow. Wow, the best big brother. 
I'm so excited to see all the dogs with the baby and I know they're gonna be so good. A lot of people asked me if I was like worried about that and I'm not at all. I know that my dogs are so loving and so sweet and it might be an adjustment to not be, you know, the whole center of attention, but you're still getting a lot of attention. And it'll be great having my grandparents just right up the street, our neighbors to, you know, just be supported. I think that like I have felt Oh, my nose is so itchy. Now I just like hold it. I'm like, I just can't itch my nose all the time because I feel like <coughs> I feel like it's going to like give me like that raw nose feeling. But um, what was I going to say? Oh, I feel like a lot of people feel shameful or like get shame for having help. But like if you have family near you, that's amazing. If you have friends who want to help you, amazing. If you want to get a nanny or a babysitter and like that feels good and you can, then totally do it. We live in such a weird time where women are expected to like do it all by themselves as well as like not complain about it and just kind of show up. Um, and so I'm so grateful that my family is right up the street and our neighbors so not only helping me but being able to be around the dogs because I do think that is something that I'm like nervous about right is like because the dogs are like my whole life and I'm with them nearly all day every day huh all day every day yo you're just my best friend Bodhi where's Haley Haley I'm now she's sleeping on the couch but um I do like I don't want them to feel like they're not getting enough attention or enough time so it'll just be nice to have my grandparents to also give them attention and be here and oh it'll be so good so it's so crazy to think about how women would like raise babies and raise children with other women and like feel supported and have all this help and now it's just like well you get two weeks off maybe it's paid and then you have to come back to work like nothing happened and good luck figuring out childcare. Brody, what is the world we live in? What is it? <gasps> Are our neighbors mowing their lawn? The disrespect of trying to get their lawn ready for spring? The disrespect? So cute. Okay, but I am done eating. I'm going to do my dishes and I'm not going to do my dishes at all. I don't do dishes. I will put these in the sink and they will be done when my partner gets home. But um, yeah, I need to go get ready to do more filming and I need to call my doctor and vacuum. Gotta do some house things today. For my birthday, one of my gifts was that handy dandy Dyson vacuum. Amazing! Also, I can't believe I'm 28. Can you believe mama is 28 years old? Wow, wow. Oh, a sweet boy. Oh, we'll see you guys momentarily in a moment for you.